All right, guys, got a new project today. Check this out. So you're probably wondering why I have a drawing on the floor on cardboard and on a piece of paper. I'll show you exactly why. That right there is what was cut out of my template that I had on the ground. What I'm gonna do is weld that pipe onto there and 14 inches long and then the other ring that I showed you on the piece of paper welds on the other end of that 14 inches. Let me show you why. We've got a 54 inch tire. This will go on the other side, but we'll bolt in there just like that. One inch, one inch bolt through and this will bolt onto, I'm told, a Tesla. Look at this tire. 600 pound tire is what I'm told. 450. Not, 450? I don't know. Throw 550? We, it doesn't matter. 650? It doesn't matter. I know that if I drop this on the ground, I can't pick it up by myself. So we'll use Rambo to set it up against. This plate here is essentially that, scaled down. So I'm hoping that that pattern right there meets up with the Tesla. I don't know. I don't have the Tesla here. Nor have I ever even messed with a wheel on a Tesla. I've never even taken a tire off of a Tesla. But the problem is, is that Tesla is 150 miles away from where we're at right now. So I'm just gonna cut the pipe, weld the pipe on here, get it as center as I can, weld it on there as center as I can, cross our fingers. Oh, I stole, I stole Ronnie's camera. Uh, we have planned this video for probably four weeks now. Actually, no. no. We've had this plan for at least four months now. Yeah, and for the last four weeks, we're like, we better get on top of this, let's make it happen. And uh, we couldn't get somebody to punch out the parts until yesterday. And guess what happened yesterday? Whistling freaking diesel, you guys know who he is, uh, sent out a video of a Tesla on big wheels. Big wheels. Come on, man. Wagon wheels. So is that is that a bad thing? No, it's a good thing. Since you guys have never really seen Johnny, this is Johnny Be Good, this is my brother. Look at, look at my hands. Now, let's see his hands in the do it bro shop. First look at the beards. Look at the beards. His is better, he's been <laughs> growing it longer. What's, what's? Yeah, look, look, look. Oh, oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, now, <laughs> look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. There's a lot you of You should wash your hands, dude, you should shower. Different. That's what you should do. So, you guys have never seen Johnny on the channel, now he's on the channel. So do you wonder where he got do it bro from? I don't want to do the work, so I told him, do it bro. Do it bro. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sneak something in here and just say, uh, he messed up that bike today, yesterday, and uh, in the comments, ask him how he did it. First time I'm out of breath, I had to pack that floor jack across the yard. Started questioning my own work. I heard and I read that three series BMWs are the same bolt pattern as a Tesla. 5 by 120. I'm up here to check that. It just so happens that back here in uh, Gino's towing lot, there's BMW. Let's uh, grab the hub adapter and we'll pull this tire off and let's see if it's going to fit. It's stud, so I'll have to thread it in. Please, please work. Otherwise, Got to re-drill these and make sure it's gonna fit. Let's try it. Here we go. Looks wrong to me already. That's not gonna work. It's not right. Dang it. Maybe somebody's uh, generous enough to let me test their, take a wheel off their Tesla and check that. But this isn't gonna work. This does not adapt up to that so some reason some way somehow i got the calculations incorrect without having a tesla in front of me and nobody wants to let me go to their house and take their tire off their tesla which i don't blame them i've got to go with the 5 by 120 i'll hurry and put this tire back on this car i got turkeys laughing at me because i'm failing let's get back to the shop and get these plates drilled to 5 by 120. I figured out where I went wrong and what I did wrong. I'm going to try to explain it to you guys. For those of you that don't know, I'm sure some of you do know, on a five lug pattern, okay, which is what we're trying to accomplish, measure from here, right here, 
to center of the hole furthest away. That threw me off. So on a six lug wheel, they go center of stud to center of furthest stud. And it threw me off. I went and just figured that because they measured it that way, I would take and measure. I want the center. I want the whole circumference center of all those studs. I should have just went off of what the call out was. Because I was thinking, okay, it's gonna be off because you're measuring from center of one stud to the top of the, the other one. I was thinking, that's gonna throw my bolt hole circle off. So I subtracted half the distance of one of the lug studs. I subtracted half that distance so that it would make a, a complete circle off of center, if that makes sense. Now, there's a reason why they do it that way. And the reason why they do it that way is because on a six lug, even numbers, you're parallel, straight parallel from one hole to the other. So you can measure center to center. On a five lug, odd numbers, it's not perfectly parallel. They're off. So this, these holes are not parallel with each other. None of them. So that's why they calculate from center of one lug stud to the outside of the furthest one. And I, I figured that out with a lot of research today. There's not very many people that explain that. I'm sure there's people out there, a lot of people out there that know, but nobody's saying that. I, I did. Here's the cool part. Johnny and I, my brother was talking, and he says it'd be cool if we could adapt those to my Lincoln. He's got a limo. Wants to maybe in the future adapt those to the limousine. Guess what Ronnie accidentally did? Calculated, you calculate this out where I screwed up and made it a smaller bolt pattern. Turns out, it's Ford pattern. It's a Ford five lug pattern on a small Ford five lug. How cool is that? It was a screw up that I did by thinking that I knew more than everybody else. In actuality, it came out to where now I'll drill holes here, there, there, and you know, in the center between those other ones, I'll drill new holes that will fit the Tesla. This is gonna be for Ford and for Tesla and GM, apparently uh, some, most of the newer Chevys are that five lug pattern. So now we're gonna have an adapter that'll fit a Ford and a Chevy without even trying. So sometimes when you screw up and you do a little bit of research on your screw ups to try to figure out where you went wrong, I may have went right. I mean, I do have to drill holes in this, which isn't a big deal. I have Get these dialed in on the mill to where we're center and I'll do two at a time, we'll get them drilled. So I've dialed this in, got my center. If my calculations are correct, it'll drill a hole here, here, there, there, and there. And this will become Chevy and Ford adapter for 54 inch tire on the other end. Let's get drilled in this thing. Pure heaven. <laughs> Nothing better than a bomb burrito. A bomb burrito. <laughs> my number's right there. 2.363 is number one, Y zero. Y zero X two point three six three. Let's go. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't push buttons. That ain't center. It's okay. It is now. It's where we want to be now. Oh, you don't do the hole? No, we're gonna spot drill all of them first. There's our... Yeah, that's off. That hole is off. But it, it doesn't matter if it's off. I've explained this to you four <laughs> times now. So here's the thing. Well, no, no, no. No, no this is not a thing. We were, this is the same... Four we, times we were the exact same time last you. night. We were exact same time. Look, these hands are clean still. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it really shouldn't matter what I say, but for the last 24 hours, guess whose brain has been cooking over oh, here? Oh, man. <laughs> but I figured it out, and it's worth it. Now, I'm de now he deburned because I've been giving him a hard time about it. He can't just say, shut up, Johnny. Shut it up. Do it, bro. No, shut it, bro. Yep. We're gonna strap oh, you're going to gonna strap it to that? Yep. And it ain't going anywhere, is it? I just wonder about when I pull on it and try to put it on a bind. Let's try this. It. Is how it could. 
We try to move an 8 inch pipe at 10 o'clock at night. Johnny's gonna get his clean clothes dirty. Hand, his hands are finally dirty. His hands are dirty. You're getting gravel on my cement, Johnny. Now what? Be careful, Bob. I don't think you can get any better than that. Really? Moment of truth. Moment of truth. 14 inch pipe. 8 inch inside diameter pipe. That's, I mean, that's. Look at that. Oh, GM boy. Ford Hub Adapter. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> First one's ever made right there. Now. Somebody get him a ride quick. This is what it's gonna look like. That big, so that we can reach through the gun and get. You can actually the weld. You can actually weld it in here as well. Mm -hmm. Both sides. But, dude, I designed it that way. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at that tire. Holy That's cow! As big as me. We've got to cut around these compressor. These are little compressors. We've got to cut around that and drill a hole for the valve stem. So this will bolt the bolt here and come out. Let's keep going. Last one's here. Getting them cut. Got a couple over here. There's number four. Get these D-Bird cleaned up. We're ready to start welding. Okay, we've got this sleeve and the big hub right here. This is just holding it up off the ground. My back hurts, I'm sick of bending over. Right here, that's our gauge. Call that good. Let's start welding. Okay, just a little update. I've got one completely done. These two are halfway done. That one's on the stand. It's welded up underneath there. And I'm getting ready to start burning around this bottom piece, which is this flange for the adapter to the wheels. see what I found today. You probably see a corner of it. Look at this. Stubsy. I found Stubsy. That's what I found. We have a cool project to do with Johnny B. Good, Stubsy, and their whole crew with the nickel Tesla. Um, I'm excited. I'm so excited for this. Uh, I did some engineering, some machining. I built those hubs and everything with, let's see, how can I put this? I built those hubs I manufactured the hubs, machined them, had them drilled, cut out, and everything, all for this day. You got to keep watching to see what we're going to do with Nickel Tesla and uh, Stubbsy over here. We're going to put him to work.
We're out here at Sand Hollow. It's cold. Wind's blowing. What is going on? Look. At what do you guys think is going to happen to this car? I think the lug studs are going to break off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope not. I, I want to see that thing not. drive around on it, but... It... Hmm. I wonder who was parked here. We're at Sand Hollow. This is where they did the record games a couple weeks ago. Look at that car. <laughs> this is this incredible. Good stuff, man. Good stuff, Lane. Or about you uh, cleaning deer guts off the bottom of somebody's car. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a customer's car. We're not we're not stating the customer's name or relation, but I'm looking at it, but I don't know about you guys, but I have the worst. Like you can throw a rock at my face, and and what makes me more mad is somebody crunching like that. <laughs> Sorry yep. about the wind, guys. But... It's gonna break. I, I didn't think that he was gonna be able to stop, dude. It, the brakes aren't working that great, but how did it look? Oh, dude. Awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was freaking rad. <laughs> The uh, 54s on the Tesla was a success. Go to Johnny Be Good and check out what he did with this car. Thanks for watching, guys. Yep.